Hey everybody, this is Odyssey Rock. I want to show you how I make my mock-ups for the Silky Socks masks using Adobe Photoshop, and then we'll try to do it in Affinity Designer too. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to silkysocks.com. Okay, once I'm on the Silky Socks site, I'm going to go here to Wholesale and then to Templates. Then I'm going to come over here to Face Masks. And I'm going to download the Face Masks template, the Photoshop version here. And I'm also going to grab whichever one of these that I want. We'll do the hexagon mask, and it'll be the same for either of the mock-ups. Okay, once those download, the first thing I'm going to do is grab this face mask template and open it in Photoshop. And you'll see that there's a layer for your art. And then there's an image showing the hexagon and one showing the rectangle. Um, one thing you can do here is change the blending mode on this layer to screen. Actually, let's change this to multiply. Then I'm just going to make a new layer underneath this layer. And I'll drag a couple guides here just so I can find the edges of the mask. use my marquee tool here I can fill this in when I fill this in I can see um, the shape of the mask so basically what the multiply blending mode does is any color it will make um, transparent but dark so anything underneath this, so let's say if I had this layer, I'll just put some random colors here. And if I change the blending mode here on this to multiply, you'll see that it makes the white invisible. And it makes these other colors uh, basically transparent, but it makes the color beneath it darker. I am not really know how to explain that. So that's what we're doing here with this. We're just going to make this uh, multiply. And then our art underneath, we'll see um, how it fits in within the mask. And another thing here is we want to give this a nice bleed. So we can go to the guides that are already on there. And I will make my entire graphic fill that space up. If I open this back up, so now you'll see, oh, that's not what I want. Okay, so you'll see that this is the area with this uh, brownish color where my graphic is. Like, make this one visible with the multiply blending mode, and then I can see which areas are going to make it onto the mask of my design. So I can actually design directly here. Um, I already have a design that I'm going to use, so I will open that. Hmm. 
open this one. I'm going to just select my graphic that I already have pre-made and then I'm going to paste it in here. I can select this area here as long as I'm on the right layer and I can paste into. So I can go edit, paste special, paste into, and that will just basically mask off any areas that weren't selected. I'm going to resize this. All right. And now I have this uh, layer with the transparency. I can see how it looks on the mask. And I think that looks good. So I can save this as a PNG and that'll preserve my transparent background. I can um, save it as a JPEG, I can save it as a Photoshop file, whatever I need. So here I'm gonna control click on this part of the layer. Right here is my graphic, control click, and it's gonna select, actually I'm gonna control click on this one below it because that is the exact size I need. And then on my layer I can um, copy it. So I can go edit copy or control C on Windows, command C on Mac. And now I'm gonna go back to uh, the Silky Socks webpage. And I downloaded my hexagon face mask already. I'm gonna open that in Photoshop. And now this has, this blue layer here is a smart layer. So all I need to do is double click and then it'll open this up. And now I just need to paste my graphic from earlier and center it however I want. And the good thing about this um, mock-up and the template file is they're both made um, with the same dimensions. So I can just copy and paste. And then what I need to do is save this a PSB file and then when I close it there's my mock-up and I can just save that and that's about it as far as uh, that goes for Photoshop so I always design on the template file and then come over to the mock-up file and you could make your mock-up from this file if you want but um, for me, I have all my bleed and everything in here, so I don't want to have to go in and... Uh, ma I, I guess I could mask these off too if I wanted. The straps, which would be in the... Here? Actually, no, I would have to mask... I would have to select all this black and then mask it. So I do prefer to have just this, um, these two different files. And it's the same thing for the... Re rectangular one is here's the rectangle and you would just draw guides uh, to the ends of your image and give it a little bit of a bleed all around uh, switch this to multiply and then you would have that all right so now let's see if we can figure out how to do this in affinity designer want that all right let's go with affinity see if it opens hopefully it does going to download the new version right now close this we will open there you go our downloads we 
Okay, I'm gonna open the face mask template. And I don't normally work in Affinity, so I wouldn't be designing in here, but you have your same thing here with these layers I can change the blending mode on this and let's see if I can place my art here yep and there we go same thing there is as long as I have my multiply my um, blending mode set to multiply here I can paste my art underneath it and and that sets me up. And again, I could make my guides and make sure that not, I'm not just doing the edges, but also doing a full bleed. And then when I go to my mock-up file, this one's a little tricky because I don't think that the um, smart object layers from Photoshop work in Affinity. And I'm actually, I know they don't. So when I go to my mock-up, what I'm going to try to do here is paste my art where it needs to go. And then I'm going to take this mask. Oh, the other thing is I want to be in the pixel uh, persona here instead of the vector one. And now I'm going to right click on my mask and duplicate it on this uh, blue layer here. Then I'm going to try to see if I can group that with this. Then let me see, you'll hide that. And there you go. As long as I have this mask on my art, it will, it'll mask it off there. And that's about it for that. So basically, instead of having the smart object, you wanna make sure that you are in the pixel persona you're going to duplicate this mask here on the side of your layer and then just drag it up to where your art is. And since we made our art to the size of the design of the template file, it'll work in the mock-up file too. And that's really all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, Feel free to ask before I um, go ahead and log off. Any kind of Photoshop questions at all, I'd be happy to ask. I'll sit here for a few minutes just in case. And, um, you know, otherwise you can find me on Facebook. I'm pretty active in the Silky Socks um, group. And I have a lot of experience with Photoshop. I've been using it for quite a while now. nobody has any questions I will get going and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, thank you I think I'm awesome too I'm just kidding but seriously if you have any questions at all please 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 while I'm still sitting here uh, ask them now I'd be more than happy to help So that was that. Let's see, and go back into Photoshop. And the other thing too is all of these different things are on different layers uh, in Photoshop. So you can change the background color to anything you'd like here as long as you go into the background layer 
which actually looks like it is locked. All right. It looks like it's some kind of a smart layer. So I can actually make a new layer here. And I can change this to whatever color I'd like. I can add a photo or whatever to the background. And okay, well that's about it then guys. Um, you hit me up on Facebook and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. All right.